Another family with Mexican origins also settled in East Chicago. They led the charge to make sure the Hispanics were seen and treated differently. They did so with the oldest Hispanic publication in the state of Indiana. As our Brooke Martin reports, it really was a labor of love. Their father was studying to be a priest before the Mexican Revolution. Persecuted for his religion, he married and fled to the United States. It was very difficult for them as Catholics, and so they had to leave it or get killed. The Figueroas and their newborn son settled in the Indiana Harbor area back in the 1920s. Most of the people in our neighborhood were Hispanic. The Garzas lived two doors down from us. They had their factory there. And at their new home, where they set up the Figueroa print shop, a new need emerged. We were getting slighted too much in the community. We were getting left out of a lot of benefits that the city had, so they decided to write little articles and publish them. Their parents led a first effort in the late 1920s, a bi-weekly magazine solely in Spanish called The Friend of the Home. He had a regular job. He worked at the mill. He was a switchman on the railroad. So in addition to that, he'd come home and hand set the type for his publication. And that was a lot of work. The publication stalled during the Great Depression, but their children revived it in the 1950s as a new bilingual weekly newspaper called the Latin Times. It would just bypass us all together, and with the help of the Latin Times, it was like twisting their arms. That little paper changed a lot of opinions. 2,000 issues weekly. At a nickel apiece, three cents would go to the kid or store who sold it, and two back to the Figueroas. We didn't make any money on it. It was not a money-making venture. It was more or less to help the community be aware of what was going on. They kept the publication going for almost three decades until the need for it was not there anymore. It made the point because they started giving us more attention. The Figueroa still preserve copies of most of the issues published and remember their parents for teaching them not only to speak out, but to celebrate their roots. The music, the dancing, we were all bilingual. And, um, Speak it correctly. Absolutely, and no, no, no Spanglish. No Spanglish. But we learned a lot from our parents. And the true value of being Hispanics. The Figueroa family also started the very first Hispanic library in East Chicago. He would keep books at the printing shop and make them available to the Working Men Club. Mm -hmm.